Miami police making an arrest after an officer was pinned between cars by a suspect who was stealing one. Local 10's Leanne Morajon is live with this developing story. Leanne. And the injuries were so severe that a witness who had been carjacked moments before told police he thought that officer was dead. Detective Marvel and Lee Chin, a former officer of the month and nearly 20 year veteran officer of Miami police, continues to recover from serious injuries to her limbs after police say a suspect ran her over in a stolen car. Completely rammed it into her. Police say 49 year old Andrew in Wardell is also in the hospital under police custody. It happened in Overtown near Northwest 2nd Avenue and 12th Street. According to his arrest form, Wardell had just punched a man in the face and stolen his Nissan Murano. He then drove off and crashed it into a parked car. I was like still in front of my building when he took off with the car and finally the officer tried to stop him. When Detective Chin arrived in her unmarked unit, police say she came out in uniform. That's when Wardell allegedly rammed the car right into her. The offender driving a vehicle accelerated, uh, struck the officer, pinned her against the vehicle. The carjacking victim told police he saw the whole thing and also said he thought the officer was dead. A second officer was able to take Wardell into custody, but not before he allegedly tried to punch them. When he tried to turn it around the corner, they chased him down to stop him. The units responding subsequently were able to take the offender into custody and were able to render first aid. He's now charged with carjacking, attempted felony murder, battery on a law enforcement officer, and leaving the scene of a crash involving injury. This just kind of highlights the risk that the brave men and women take each and every day. And we've learned Wardell has been arrested several times in multiple states, including Minnesota, Illinois, Iowa, and Wisconsin. Once he is ready to be released from the hospital and well enough, after his injuries, we're told that he will be booked into the jail and then appear before a bond court judge. Reporting live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.